Hello everyone, my name is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is 18 chapter The Strongest Man Samson Ju Jugas chapter 13 to 16. Samson was the strongest man. God made him strong. Samson was strong enough to kill a lion. He killed a lion with his bar hands. Samson even won the battle of Palestine. The Palestine tried to kill Samson. They tried to try the Israel badly, tricked it, the Israel badly. But Samson was stronger than they were. I want to do whatever I want. Samson didn't obey God. He didn't obey his parents. Samson also didn't want make himself sad. He fell in love with Palestine girl, girl Derilla. The Palestines came to Derilla. We will give you a lot of money. Find out what made Samson so strong. Derilla kept asking him to tell her the truth day and night. Samson gave in as and say, "My strength." Is in my long hair. Derla cut his long hair and called the Palestines. Samson's, Samson's attention later made him sad. Samson woke, woke up from his sleep, but Samson Strong was gone. He didn't listen to God. He didn't listen to his parents, and now Samson was weak. The Palestine put them in jail. The Palestines made Samson blind. They made him work hard. They laughed at him. They were curly to him. Samson repented, and his hair began to grow. One day, the Palestines were gathered at the great temple to worship their god. At the big party, the Palestine called Samson out. They made fun of him. Samson cut off his robes around you. Ha <laughs> ha! Samson repented to pray. God, make me strong one last time. Help me take reason. On those Palestines, they're calling to the Israel. God made him strong one uh, once again. Samson pushed the pillars with all his might, and the temple crashed down over the people in the temple. Chapter nineteen. Ruth followed Naomi. Ruth, chapter one to four. I am going home," said Naomi. Naomi moved in to move Ma with her husband and her two sons. A long time ago, there was a big famine in her hometown in Bethlehem. Naomi became old. Her husband and two sons died. Naomi was living with her daughter-in-law. I am going to. Going back to my people, said Naomi. I am going with you. I will go wherever you go. Your home will be my home, and your God will be my God, said Ruth, the second daughter in law. Ruth came to Bethlehem with Naomi. Ruth had to prepare food for Naomi. It was a harvest time in Bethlehem. Ruth gathered grains on the barrel field and ate with Naomi. Boaz won the land. She takes good care of her mother-in-law. Ruth must be a good woman. 
salt boas, root gathered grains, delhi, boas helped root gather more grains. He helped root eat what other workers comp comfortably. Boas was a kind, rich man. Noah and Naomi set to root. In Israel, trepidation with those are to marry the closest relative. Boas is the closest relative and he likes you. Why don't you marry him? As no Naomi said Boas and Ruth to marry. God gave Ruth in every special gift. A baby boy, Obed, Granda, Naomi, and Ruth were really happy. God blessed Ruth and Naomi and Ruth. <laughs> Twenty chapter, God's man, Samuel. Chapter 1, Samuel 1 to 2. Hannah was crying and praying to the temp praying in the temple. She didn't have any children. Her husband, Elkanah, was a loving husband, but Elkanah's another wife, Penia was calling to Hannah. Help me, God. Give me a child. If you give me, if you let me have a, a baby boy, I will offer him to you. The priest of the temple, Ali brought Hannah, was drunk. Ha ha. Oh, Hannah, you, you have to Quit drinking, Hannah said to Ellie. I am not drinking. I am praying because I am so sad. The phrase said to Hannah, Go in a peace. God will answer your prayer. Hannah was not sad anymore. God really gave her son. Hannah was very happy. He named him Samuel. Samuel means God answer my prayer. When Samuel was a little boy, Hannah took Samuel to the temple. I will give you this child to God. Can you help him to serve God? Yes, I will help him, said Ellie. The present Hannah thanked God for Samuel. Samuel lived in the temple. He helped Ellie and served God. Samuel obeyed God. He made God happy. He made God ha people happy. Hannah and Elkanah came to temple to worship God. Hannah brought a jacket for Samuel. They wanted to wanted Ellie to bless them. Blessed us with more children. Ellie prayed for them. God blessed Hannah with three sons and two daughters. Samuel served God in the temple. He heard a voice calling him, Samuel, Samuel. God was calling Samuel. God spoke to Samuel. Er everything God said happened. Samuel gave me message to the people of Israel. He was a special prophet of God. Yes, today. I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? And next time I will read another story. Twenty one chapter. David the brave boy. Samuel chapter seventeen. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? And next time I will read another story and come with another 
Story 21 chapter. Then let's see you next time. Bye!